it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. We're going to be tasting the best that 1792 has to offer. Well, arguably the best, anyway. What I have, let's just call it that, right? And we're going to find out which one's the best. Now, these are poured blind. Uh, but, you know, we will see if I can guess what they are. Alright, so, before we dive in, let's take a look at the bottles, shall we? Starting off in the left corner, 1792 Bottled in Bond! With the yellow, fake yellow leather wrap and the gold topper. So, obviously, a Bottled in Bond... So what proof is that? 150% alcohol by volume. Uh, these gorgeous bottles, my gosh, right? Look at that. Opulence, I has it, right? From that commercial years ago. Anyway, let's read a few facts off the back, shall we? Bottled and Bond guaranteed drinkers high quality whiskey made by a legitimate distiller. This well-aged bourbon from barrels all filled during the same season, the definition of bottled and bond, was bottled exactly 100 proof for a bold taste and a lingering finish, a testament to the bottled and bond act established a century ago. Well, we will find out, right? Bottle number two, none other than 1792 full proof. And a store pick, no less. So full proof, 125 proof. 62.5% alcohol by volume. I believe this was like a 2020 or a 2021 store pick from Fine Wine and Good Spirits. Uh, four, barrel number 4255 for, really no one cares, but there you go. Now, what does the back have to say about this bad boy? Bourbon Insiders. Whoa, who's that? have long acknowledged that foolproof bourbon has a distinctly rich flavor. This bourbon has been bottled at its original 125 barrel entry proof, just as it was years ago when the barrels were first filled. A little gimmicky. Strong and full of flavor, this bold bourbon boasts an incredible deep and smoky taste, superbly balanced with sweet vanilla and notes of caramel. Well, we will find out. For those uh, high proof hounds like myself, you probably have been looking for a bottle of this or have one on your shelf. Um, so, and it's got it's got the black leather on it. So if you're ever just by color looking for your bourbon, you know, full proofs the black, bottled and bonds the yellow. And now for the last contender this evening, none other than 1792, aged 12 years with the gray fake leather band. That's right, I got my hands on a 12 year. Uh, arguably one of the harder ones to find. It's not as available as uh, the full proof of the bottle and bond. Um, I'm gonna guess by this that it's 12 years old. Just gonna put that out there. Now you might know, what's the proof on this one, Bourbon Bill? Well, 96.6 .6 proof. For compute, 48.3% alcohol by volume. So an odd proof, right? We had 100, 125. Now we have 96.6. Why not just make it 97, right? Eh, we don't know. Now, the back on this bad boy says, 12 years is a long time to wait. But patience has its rewards. Well, we will find out tonight. This impeccable bourbon whiskey is a satisfying result of maturing for more than a decade in not only but the finest charred American white oak barrels. So no secondary charred barrels here. No second rate barrels. The finest. Rich flavors of vanilla and cocoa abound in this full bodied bourbon. After spending 12 years in oak, I think they've mentioned that a couple times now, 12 years. The delicate fruit notes in this whiskey are met with a lingering, smoky finish that is more complex than most. 
Um, so obviously these are all Barton. So 1792 is Barton, right? Barton uh, sells a lot of whiskey. You know, a lot of other people, non-distilling producers, uh, source Barton. But this is what they're bottling of their own stuff, right? So arguably this is probably the best that 1792 has to offer. Um, I know there's there's plenty of other ones. So there there would be the 1792 small batch, which is the cheapest. Oh, I don't have a bottle of that. Although I could go buy one, but I just why bother when this stuff's probably better. Um, I know they make like there's a limited edition port. There was uh, sweet wheat um, and a few others, but I haven't really had the opportunity to get those, and and probably won't. Um, the most available ones are probably the bottled in bond and the foolproof. So my wife poured these blind. So let me get the, uh, we'll just pick a glass and we'll start there, right? So here we go, we got the clear glass. We'll give it a spin there. Uh, not, not too dark, a little light, a little light. All right, let's engage the nostrils here. Sweet bananas, it smells like straight bananas. Is Auntie Dole in the house? Mmm. I get sweet banana sugar, some caramel in there, some vanilla, but mainly bananas. Let's give it a sip. Very sweet. Just like an onrush of like sweet banana. A little bit of caramel in the back and then a little pop of confectionery sugar. Um, proof wise, it's not too low. It, it feels it feels like over 100, but I don't think it's 125. So I'm going to guess it's actually the bottled in bond because you know why? Bananas are yellow and the neck label on that sucker was yellow. So that's why I'm that's, that's what I'm thinking. Smarter than your average bear on this channel. That is crushable and delicious. I think that bottle's like $40. So if you can find it and you don't have it, go buy it. If that's what it is. I mean, either way, none of these bottles are expensive, I'll point out. I think they're all like 40 to like $50. That's it. 40 to 50 They're all excellent values. All right, let's grab the second glass. All right, we got the old clear glass with a little blue painter's tape on it. Um, you know, a shade darker maybe? I mean, just a shade darker. Let's give it a whiff. Oh, oh, this smells more well-aged. Get a lot of sweet oak on this. A vanilla, caramel, your traditional bourbon scents, but you can kind of, if you have high age, well, you can kind of smell the age on it. It's not young. A lot of, a lot of like just fruits on this. I get like apples. Maybe pears, like a hint of cinnamon on this. Gosh, it smells great. I do, I do get like a little smoky scent on it. All right, let's give it a sip. Oh my, oh my. Woo! That is good. Wow, the finish keeps going delicious blend of that just sweet oak the caramel a little bit of vanilla some some fruits coming in just perfectly complex and blended together finishes with just a slight tingle and and that that kind of that that little bit of oak all the way through but it's not it's not over oaked so if you if you're not a huge fan of oak don't be turned off um it's not it's not over oaky now, because it's not blowing me out in the palate, I'm going to guess this is the age 12 year. Just my guess. Um, very good. That bottle was $49.99 in PA. So an absolute buy. Uh, I know it's kind of limited, but there's not much in the $50 range that's better. I mean, I, I guess Stag Jr. is like $55 at MSRP if you can find it, but... Um, it's it's a dang good pour, very drinkable. It drinks about a hundred proof. I know. It, well, if this is the twelve year, it's ninety six point six proof, but it drinks about a hundred. Um, just a great sipping whiskey, right? Nice night by the fire here. It's a good, a good whiskey for that. All right, let's grab the last glass.
That's right, the gold Glen Karen. Uh, I was, you know, up late at night, uh, got a newborn in the house, can't sleep. Uh, I was on Amazon and you know what? Uh, found a gold Glen Karen on sale, so I couldn't help myself. I bought it. Uh, life wasn't happy, you know, expenses, the babies here, and everything like that. But I just couldn't help myself. It looks so awesome, right? All right, let's give this one a nosing. I get like bananas and like barrel char on this one. Bananas, barrel char, and caramel. Like no vanilla, no fruits. Kind of like a smoky char. I know a lot of these said smoky on them. I'm getting, if you, a little, little campfire, something like that. Let's give it a taste. Oh, sweet have Oh! My God, that is so good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's a ton of, like, just barrel char and oak and a hint of banana. Not as much banana as the first class we had, but wow. Proof's definitely higher. So I'm going to guess this is the full proof. However, however, it does not drink 125 proof. This drinks like 115. Easily the longest finish. Um, I will say it's not as complex as, as what I think is the 12 year. The glass with the blue painter's tape was more complex and more balanced. This is like a lot of oak, a lot of char, hint of caramel, and just like a, like, so there's some heat to it, but it's not overpowering. But it's very like concentrated in its flavor, but it's not necessarily complex in its flavor. So I'm gonna go back through these off camera and we're gonna come back with uh, with a ranking and my guesses. All right, we're back. So I did rank them. Uh, number one was uh, Blue Painter's Tape. Number two, the Goldie. And number three, the Plain. So let me see what they were. Oh, and my guesses were age 12 year, full proof, and then obviously the clear, I think, was bottled and bond. All right, I got my answer key here. The clear was the bottled and bond. The gold was the foolproof. And uh, the painter's tape was the 12 year. Excellent value here for the 12 year. This got first place tonight. Um, as long as it's available, I think this, this will remain a, a spot on my bar uh, for sure. Now, coming in at second place was uh, yield foolproof because. I'm a high proof hound, I admit it. Love high proof stuff. Um, the only reason it didn't win first uh, was because although it had a very good concentration of flavor, like the flavors were strong. They just weren't as complex as, as the 12 year here. As the 12 year here. So it got second tonight. Now, that being said, this is a store pick. I'm sure PA is lazy and doesn't actually pick these. They probably just call up sitting here like, hey, uh, uh, send me whatever barrel you got and slap a sticker on it. I'm sure that's what PA does. I'm sure if, if you have a store near you that, you know, takes the time to actually pick these, this could be the winner. And then last but not least is a bottled in bond at 100. Dang good. It was a, it was a, like a banana split or something. Just like, I got my daily dose of bananas drinking this. And uh, I prefer the 12 year or the 1792. So generally, I prefer older bourbons, higher proof uh, bourbons. So it's definitely good. Clearly, I've drank this without complaint, down to less than half. So certainly, it's not that I didn't enjoy it, but I just don't find myself reaching for it that often.